In this video, we'll be doing another example of finding the slope of a tangent line. The definition that we'll be using is the slope of the line tangent to the graph of the function f of x at the point x f of x is m is equal to the limit as delta x approaches 0 of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all divided by delta x. Our problem that we'll be working with is to find the slope of the tangent line at the point negative 2, 7 of the curve f of x is equal to x squared plus 3. So the first thing that we want to do, let's find f of x plus delta x. And we do that by subbing this expression into our function every time we see an x. So f of x plus delta x is x plus delta x quantity squared plus 3. Let's simplify this before we continue. This is, uh, if I square this out, I get x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared. And then I have a plus 3 on the end there. So that's just this first part of the numerator. So my m is defined as the limit as delta x approaches 0 of the fraction. Now let me copy this first part of this definition, this expression right here. So I have x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared plus 3. And then from that expression, I want to subtract f of x. So I need to subtract f of x. I'll distribute this negative through the uh, quantity in a minute. f of x is x squared plus 3. And then I'm dividing by delta x. Now we can't do direct substitution in here for delta x because I'll have division by 0, so I need to multiply things out and simplify and see if something cancels. So I have the limit as delta x approaches 0 of, let me copy, And then if I distribute, I'll have a negative x squared and a negative 3. And my x squared in the front and this negative x squared will cancel. And my positive 3 and my negative 3, those will cancel. Oh, and don't forget our delta x in the denominator. So now with those gone, I'm finding the limit as delta x approaches 0 of 2x delta x plus delta x squared, and that's it, over delta x. So now I'm noticing that I have a delta x in each of these terms. I can uh, factor that out. That's going to be the limit then as delta x approaches 0 of, if I pull out a delta x from this term, I just have 2x, and then plus, and then if I factor out a delta x from this term, I still have a delta x left, and then I'm over delta x. Now these guys will cancel, which means I can now do direct substitution. I'm doing the limit as delta x approaches 0 of 2x plus delta x. Well, as you take delta x closer and closer to 0, this term approaches 0. 
So that'll be equal then to 2x. Now, I was asked to find the slope of the tangent line at the point negative 2, 7. So my slope at negative 2, 7 this is a generic equation for the slope at any given point, any x value. And since I want the slope at x equal negative 2, I'll just plug in negative 2 for x. And I get negative 4 as my slope of my tangent line at this point.